I'll start with the simple classic granola bars. I do really like making homemade granola bars because that way I can control the ingredients I put in them. And I've designed this recipe to have as little fat and sugar as possible. So I start with a cup and a half of rolled oats. And I'm not putting them in my bowl, but instead on a baking tray. And I'll add my other grain to that, quinoa flakes. So I've got a full cup of quinoa flakes added to my cup and a half of oats. And I just give this a little stir. And before I make the granola bars, I actually want to toast the grains just on their own. This really brings out the nice sweetness within the grain. And they only take about 12 minutes at 350. You do need something to bind everything together. And that is a syrup base, half a cup of honey. And now instead of using butter, I'm using virgin coconut oil. I'm going to measure the coconut oil using the displacement method. So I've got my half a cup of honey and I'll add enough coconut oil until it pushes a quarter cup higher. For a little bit of flavor, I'll add a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, just a little vanilla, a pinch of salt. So this all goes into a sauce pot. I'll heat this just a bit, enough to melt the coconut oil. Add my orange zest. And now while that's heating, I can get my last element ready, the seeds and nuts. And I opted for a school safe version. So a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds. These are already toasted, so they didn't have to go in the oven with the grains. And half a cup of pumpkin seeds. These are roasted too, and they're unsalted. Half a cup of raisins. Finally, half a cup of dried cranberries. When it comes to these measurements of seeds and fruits, if you want to switch it up, and add different dried fruits, you just go right ahead. Just gonna stir that to mix it up. My syrup and my grain should be just about ready. The coconut oil has melted and the honey is now fluid. You won't see much of a difference once you've toasted the grains, just a little bit of browning on the outside. But believe me, the sweetness now is built in. I'll add this to my bowl. Give everything a little stir, but the magic happens when I add my syrup. And all you need to do here is just stir to fully coat the grains and the seeds and the dried fruits. So I've got my pan that's been greased and lined with parchment and I'll spoon the entire mixture into the pan. You really can smell the orange zest and the honey and cinnamon together. And with my spatula, I press it lightly, but then it's very important to firmly press in the granola bar so that when you slice it, it holds together. So I use something flat, like the straight side of a dish, and I press it right into the corners and very firmly down. If you happen to have another pan of the exact same size, you can even use that and press the whole thing down. Once you see it's flattened, then it's ready for the oven. This only has to spend 15 minutes in a 350 oven, and that's really just to get everything to set together. There we go. I have one that's cooled completely. You don't want to slice your granola bars while they're still warm because then they might be prone to crumble. Let them cool completely in the pan. There we go. So you can see there's a hint of a crunch there, but there is that soft center. You've got the fruits and the seeds. You've got the grains that have been nicely toasted. A little bit of chew. It just feels so virtuous making a recipe like this.